Hello everyone. The topic that I chose is topic two. How has classical conditioning been used by the media in advertising? And the paper I'm going to review is about grain advertising. In 2009, Professor Hartman published a paper on International Journal of Advertising to talk about the effectiveness of growing advertising. The first question is, what is advertising? Advertising is to broadcast. Advertising is to let everyone know. Advertising is designed to create a reaction. Just think of the reaction to a picture, seen for the first time. A good ad creates attention, stimulates interest, creates desire, and for many people generates an action. Advertising is a highly efficient way to match sellers with buyers. The more opportunity we have to advertise provides more opportunity to find a buyer. This creates the economic activity. What is growing advertising? To be different from the normal advertising, green advertising integrates green information or green image into the ads. A piece of green advertising information can be, for example, 100% recyclable, radiation free, minimum energy consumption, zero greenhouse emission. The association of a brand with green information leads to a positive effect on brand attitude. A green advertising image can bring the customers with pleasant feeling by creating virtual nature experiences. For example, in this picture, a Nokia phone is integrated into nature with the bird flowers surrounded. And also you can notice there is a piece of green advertising information being harmony with the nature. The science behind green advertising information and green type advertising image is classical conditioning. Professor Hartman's aim is to show that there is a benefit in associating a brand with a pleasant green virtual nature experience. The hypothesis of the study is that the association of a brand with pleasant virtual nature experience leads to a specific emotional experience and add more value than the other type of ads. Three hundred sixty participants from um, five different Spanish cities uh, took part into the study, and uh, the participants they include fifty four percent female and forty six percent male, aged between twenty and sixty five years. Fifteen brands were chosen, and each participant was uh, exposed for fifty seconds to one randomly chosen ad. Then later, after that, their attitude. Towards the brand was measured. The measure of the attitude includes three aspects overall evaluation, positive feeling, and purchase intention. The data analysis results showed that the brand attitude scored the highest for the uh, ads with green image. It's higher than the other two types of ads. The data analysis results showed that the brand attitude scored the highest for the uh, ads with green image. It's higher than the other two types of ads. Therefore, the hypothesis can be accepted, and uh, also the distinct perceptual and uh, attitudinal effects of virtual nature experience in the advertising. Uh, it therefore likely improved the performance of the brand. Uh, another finding that after uh, uh, going through the paper, what I found out is that uh, the experiment line in relation to conditional conditioning needs to include repetition and reinforcement so as to derive more distinctive results.